What's up everybody? We made it to Buckshot Speedway here in Clanton, Alabama. This is just a one-off show paying 3,000 to win. It is not an SCDRA series race, but we are running the SCDRA rule set. The trip here went pretty good. I'm excited for tonight. I've never been here before, so this is a new track added to my list. It's a pretty tight little place, but it's definitely higher bank than what I thought from watching the videos and stuff. It's a lot like that Clarksville track we went to earlier in the season where we picked up a $10,000 payday. So I'm looking forward to it. Car's ready to go. I'm feeling good about it. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my buddy, Michael Crouch. He drove two and a half hours each way to come help me last night and put the transmission in. I had to rebuild it after we broke it at Cherokee. So Mike, thank you so much for what you did. All right, guys, we've gotten unloaded and everything. I want to give a shout out to Fleming Family Racing. It's a fellow YouTube channel. Make sure you guys check them out. I'm gonna put a link to their page in the description. Thank you guys for sponsoring my entry fee for tonight. It really means a lot to me and I really wish you guys were here so I would have gotten to meet you. Racers helping racers out is a great thing. We are getting ready to go out for the first round of practice. Uh, we are getting two rounds and then we'll go into qualifying and then after that will be the main event. I think we have just over 20 cars so they'll be starting everybody for the main. Just hoping to pick off a good starting spot, see what we can do with this old girl. So far for my first experience at Buckshot Speedway, I actually really like this place. High bank, short little track. I'm hoping it slicks off, but we'll just have to wait and see. Looking forward to a good show and hoping to bring home that big check. this video to announce our giveaway winner so like I said at a thousand subscribers we are going to give away an import outlaws goodie bag and the time has finally come the winner is receiving an import outlaws shirt import outlaws hat a sticker bundle pack and most importantly a $100 Jason Waters tuning gift card that can be applied to a tune or anything on his website so huge shout out to Jason at Jason Waters tuning for coming on board and supporting this all right so the winner is 27 racing and that's at 27 racing 027 27 racing please reach out to us via importoutlaws.shop go to the contact us tab and send us an email so we can get you your goodie bag we hope to do more stuff like this in the future hopefully with some bigger ticket items because i feel like it's a good way to give back to you guys for supporting us make sure to like subscribe comment and share this thing to a friend. I appreciate you guys and we'll see you on the next one. I didn't go out for that second round of practice because I was just taking time to get the car ready. I've had a bunch of people come up to me and offer their assistance so I've been taking advantage of that as I can. Thank you if you're watching. I really really appreciate that.
right, guys, so we finished up the first and only round of qualifying. I think I'm second. Uh, they haven't posted times yet, so I'm not exactly sure. If I find out before we roll out, I'll update you guys where I'm starting. But if not, let's go bring it home. All right, so I found out we qualified third. Should be good to go. I feel like we have a good part for the main.
this thing on. Well guys, we brought home the big check. It was a super fun weekend at Buckshot Speedway and I'm really glad I made the trip. It was 15 hours on the road for me, so it was definitely a long night. This race was very, very, very last minute for us. We couldn't decide if we were gonna go or not because of everything else we had going on. Literally the Thursday before the race, we made the decision that we were gonna try to get ready. Like I said in the beginning of the video, huge shout out to my buddy Michael Crouch for driving two and a half hours each way to come help me out and get this thing ready. Uh, we had a lot to do. Without him, I don't think I would have been able to get it done. He wasn't able to go Saturday, so I had to make the trip by myself, but luckily there were some people at the track that could help out and lend me a hand when I needed it. So just to recap how the weekend went, I felt like we had a pretty fast car from the get-go. We went out for the first practice and the car felt pretty good, so I really didn't feel like I needed to make a bunch of changes. I felt like I just needed to adjust the way I was driving the track a little bit. I ended up skipping the second round of practice just so I could guarantee that I would be ready for qualifying. I wanted to make sure everything was 100% on the car and that we were ready. We went out for qualifying and I felt like I laid down some pretty solid laps, but I was still unsure how fast I was because we hadn't seen times all night. I definitely felt like I qualified in the top five, but in the back of my mind, I knew there was a couple things I would have liked to have done to maybe put down a faster lap. After a while, we found out we qualified third, which put us in a great starting spot for the main event. So we fired off from the feature, and from the get-go, I knew we had a fast car. I was trying to run the bottom end and make it work, but I knew the high line was the place I needed to be. After a few laps in the race, I ended up moving up there once I felt like I was clear of the car behind me. And from there, I just started working on second place and tried to time a run to get beside him. It seemed like the bottom through three and four just wasn't there. I was trying to clear them before I could get down into three. I just couldn't get a good enough run off of two to do that. It was just over halfway by the time I cleared them and I felt like I really didn't have that much time left to try to get the lead. I believe we were coming to four to go when we ran up on a lap car and I had moved down to give the leader a line. He came down a little farther than I anticipated and we made a little bit of contact. I checked up to avoid spinning him and tried to let him regain himself so we could go back at it again. But coming out of two, he pushed up and I saw it coming so I crossed him over and was able to slide him going down into three. Once we got to the lead, we were able to pull a couple car links on him and led the last three laps and brought it home. Kind of like our big win at Clarksville, it was a little bittersweet to be there by myself and win a big race like this. At the same time, I'm glad I was able to bring it home for my family and my team and my sponsors as well. Big shout out to Action Graphics, Jason Waters Tuning, DAM Trucking, k &R Services, Trick Shop Productions, Vining Tools, and Southeast Performance for helping me get to the track every single weekend. And not only them, but you guys too, buying the shirts, buying the hats, the stickers, that all helps us get to the racetrack every weekend. And I truly appreciate you guys for doing that. And before we wrap this thing up, I wanna give Michael Hilton and Buckshot Speedway a huge shout out for putting this thing on. And all of these sponsors that contributed to the race itself, huge thanks to you guys because without y'all, this wouldn't have happened. So thank you. We have a couple really big things coming up. We are actually getting the white car together for Dixie Speedway later this month. I'm going to have a higher driver in it. More to come on that. I'm gonna keep it a secret for now. Y'all make sure to tune in, check it out. And to top it off, Stage Fright is getting a new motor. Finally got this thing together. There's going to be a full video coming out of this motor build including the dyno. I'm looking forward to that. I think you guys are really gonna like it and I'm excited to see what this thing will do on the dyno. Yeah.